Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to make death swap for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, the first thing that you're gonna need is a command block. And where do you get one? So, first of all, open up your chat box and then do slash give at s command underscore block. And that will give you a command block. The next thing that you want to do is we need a timer, right? So the best thing to do is put a command block, set it to repeat, put it on always active. Now, this is where it's important. 20 ticks is one second. So 6,000 is five minutes. So now that we've got our timer, now we need like some co so, some sort of warning system. So the next thing that we're going to do is grab a command block, make it a chain command block, and then put it to always active. Now, over here, put the ticks to 20. Now, we need some sort of way of telling that the timer is going off. So slash title at a meaning everyone action bar action bar and now if you want to make it colorful you do this this is the minecraft color code you can find it on the internet then just copy that and paste it in the command input now you can make it any color with numbers or with letters I personally like to do three, which is light blue. You can do any color you want. So next do switching in 10. You can do more than 10 seconds, 30 seconds. It doesn't matter, but for time's purpose, I'm doing 10 seconds. Now copy this, which is control and middle click, break it, and then just do 10 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure direction is like always connected to each other. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, make sure all of these command blocks are just like facing each other. That means that they're all connected. You can also do it in a straight line, doesn't matter, but I'm just going to make it like super small. So now, 10 seconds is what this command block shows, then the next one has to be 9. So 9, make this 8, and so on. 8, 7, Six and five and four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, a lot of boring typing. So now, what's next? Well, we need a way of indicating that after this timer, it it's like it's ready to switch. So what we have to do is put another chain command. You can get rid of all of this and make sure it's chain, always active, delay in ticks is 20, and do slash title at A, title, and then color code again. I preferably do six, which is yellow, and switching, which will tell people that it's going to switch. So next, we need to do the TP command, which is going to have to be multiple command blocks. So place down five chain command blocks, just like this, and make sure it's chain, always active. Zero delay in ticks for all five of these. Now, the next thing you're going to do 
is for this command block, do slash summon, and you can do anything, like creeper, skeleton, anything. But you could do armor stand, armor underscore stand. And now you have to give it a name, so it doesn't TP every single armor stand in the game. So let's do dummy. There you go. So now what you want to do is slash TP at E, which is going to look for every single entity out there. Now do this bracket and put name. Now it's going to search for a name, a thing with a name in it. So any entity with a name in it. Now put equals and put the name of the armor stand, dummy. So now it locates our armor stand, dummy. Now make sure it goes to you. So put your username in the last section. So in this case, it would be me, Hypershock01. Now, the next thing to do is slash TP yourself, Hypershock01, to your friend. So in this case, I'm going to do Turkey War, Turkey War 2006. I believe it was seven. Yeah. No, it's six. There you go. And he is my friend. He's going to be our little test subject here. And the next thing you want to do is make sure your friend, in this case, Turkey War for me, Turkey War 2006, and TP it to our dummy. So at E bracket name equals dummy. Now, with these four command blocks, this basically is our TP command. But we're not done yet. We have to get rid of our dummy. And I will do a demonstration. So let's finish this off by slash TP at E. Name equals dummy. And you can TP it anywhere you want, like just randomly. It's going to be like our dispose. It's going to be like our trash. So let's TP it like, I don't know, a thousand blocks away. Because we don't need it anymore. Chain, always active. No delay. And there you have it, guys. That's it. Super simple, super easy. So now, let's test it. So I'm going to have my friend, plus TB. So my friend's going to be here. And I'm going to be, yeah, he's going to be like over there. And now I'm going to be like over here. So it'll automatically activate, but I don't want to wait five minutes. So you can do this. Needs redstone. And now you just have to power it. So grab like a redstone block. And there you go. So I'm going to be moving over here. Well, he's going to be there. Okay, no, 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 you don't come near me. Behold! Look at that, he's over there in my position, and I'm in his position. And while you're playing, you might notice on the top left, it's showing everything that the command block does. Now, that is annoying, because, like, visibility-wise, you don't want that to be showing. So, to get... To get rid of it, basically all you have to do is slash gamer rule, gamer rule, command block output, and make it false. There you go. And now it won't show anymore. There you go. Okay, bud. You, you, okay, he, I guess he wants to do it again. All right. On a final note. You can hide this anywhere away from sight, underground, in the air, in a mountain, I don't know, anywhere, just away from sight. It does not matter where it has to be placed, it can be put anywhere you want. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
be sure to test this out and have fun with it. I'll see you guys in the next video.